In Africa, amidst bustling city streets and hidden alleyways, lie markets unlike any others. In Togo and Benin, these markets aren't just about trading goods, they're about trading power. These are Africa's witchcraft markets, where ancient rituals, potions, and curses are still alive today. But is there real magic here? Or are these just relics of an ancient past? Let's dive deep into the heart of these markets to uncover the truth. Imagine walking through a marketplace filled with the scent of burning herbs, where traders sell charms for protection, love, and revenge. Skulls, bones, and dried animal parts cover tables, each one steeped in mystery. These markets are rooted in the traditions of African voodoo and other local spiritual practices. While some come for curiosities, others come in search of real power. But what are they really buying? Could it be ancient magic, passed down for generations? In these markets, you'll find items you won't see anywhere else. Skulls of animals believed to have supernatural powers, herbs for concoctions said to heal or curse, and talismans that are rumored to protect the wearer from evil. Some items are linked to ancient voodoo rituals, including dolls for hexing enemies and potions for bringing luck or love. People who believe in these items claim they've witnessed results they can't explain, but skeptics think otherwise. Are these objects just symbols, or do they truly contain hidden power? The markets of Togo and Benin are rich with stories of curses, miracles, and strange occurrences. Locals share tales of those who've purchased items from these markets, only to find themselves experiencing unexplainable events. One tale tells of a man who bought a charm for wealth, but was met with mysterious misfortunes instead. Another story speaks of a woman who claims a love potion changed her life forever. Whether these stories are based on truth or merely legends, they contribute to the allure and fear of these markets. The witchcraft markets are deeply connected to African cultural beliefs. In Togo and Benin, voodoo is not just a spiritual practice, it's a way of life. The belief in spirits and supernatural powers runs deep, influencing everything from health to personal relationships. These markets preserve ancient rituals that were practiced long before modern religions took root. It's not just about selling items, it's about preserving history and respecting forces beyond the physical world. Could these beliefs hold the key to the mysterious powers people claim to find here? While the witchcraft markets have long served locals, they're now attracting a new kind of visitor, tourists and curious seekers from around the world. Some come looking for quick fixes for their problems, while others are drawn by the dark allure of the unknown. Many report feeling a palpable energy as they browse the stalls. The increasing attention from outsiders has even led to controversies, as some see it as a fascination with Africa's dark side. But those who believe in the power of these items argue that it's a sign of growing respect for African spiritual traditions. So, are these markets truly enchanted, or are they simply symbols of a culture that believes in unseen forces? The truth may never be fully known, but one thing is certain. These markets aren't just places to buy things. They're places where history, mystery, and belief collide. Whether you see them as relics of an ancient past or as places of genuine magic, the witchcraft markets of Togo and Benin continue to draw people seeking answers. Perhaps, in the end, it's the belief itself that holds the real power. As we step out of these shadowy markets, we're left with more questions than answers. Are these mysterious items conduits of ancient forces, or are they simply powerful symbols? The choice to believe is yours. Whether you're drawn to these markets by curiosity, fear, or fascination, one thing is clear. Africa's witchcraft markets are filled with secrets waiting to be uncovered. Join us next time as we dive deeper into Africa's hidden mysteries. And don't forget, sometimes the most powerful magic is the one that remains unseen. Subscribe to Nevo's Island for more incredible revelations and let's uncover the secrets of faith and history together.